Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of LBMD Restoration Series. Today our project is a Tuli Borge blue denim sling bag from our lovely client. The middle top area is all faded and you can barely recognize the blue color, but the most obvious flaw is the leather piping with rubs and scratches all over. Okay, let's do a quick color restoration. We start by using fabric paint on the top area as first coat, making sure to apply a very thin layer each time to avoid pigmentation and to create an even surface. Somehow, the blue color is a bit dark, but it will eventually cool down in a bit, don't worry. A quick tip by the way when coloring anything. Make sure to do a test prior to application to know what will be the actual color it will turn out to when it dries. Now we do the leather by pink. Here we need to apply the glazer to remove all previous finish or polish. Otherwise the new color will not stick properly. You can also use a regular acetone and it will work just the same. We will be using two to three coats of leather paint for this area. And again, always remember to apply a thin layer on each stroke to create an even surface and to avoid any bumps on it. Also, you can blow dry the paint to make it faster to dry, but overall, the acrylate and leather paint is a quick dry material, so yeah, you can just leave it as it is and it will be dry before you know it. Okay, now the metal chain strap. Usually I unhook the chain first and take off the leather strap to paint it separately, but on this case, we will only do a touch up. So I think it's just practical to just paint the exposed area instead of doing the whole thing because it's going to be double work, you know. Now the last part we will do are the front sides. It's a bit faded as compared to the inside parts. She must have washed this or probably just faded by time. Anyway, we will restore the color making it dark blue, somehow navy blue again, but left the bottom area to keep the original texture of the bag. The final step is to seal the paint to avoid color transfer by applying finisher. And finally, we have to clean off some paint residue that had been spilled. And we are done. Thanks again everyone for watching. Enjoy the before and after days. Check out our other restoration videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe.